Hello guys, just want to thank you guys for joining for another video. This one we're just going to be going over the true basics of options trading. So I'm just going to focus on SPY here, um, which is basically the smaller version of the S&P 500 um, compared to its $3,000 valuation. Um, so what we're going to focus on here is I'm going to go over minimally um, a strategy which I had in the one of my other videos and then literally just going over you know what the strike price is these dates and you know calls and puts so first i'm going to go over what calls are you know you're basically going for i mean you're looking for the stock to go up you know you're playing the long position the hot, you know wanting the stock to go up just like you would if you would buy shares of a company you know you're hoping for that company to go up um the put side you know you're hoping for the company to go down or that's uh that stock to go down and basically like uh, selling short um, on shares, basically what you're doing there. Um, so those are the directions, calls, you're looking for upside movement and puts, you're looking for downside movement. Um, so these dates now, expirations are the amount of time allotted um, you have left in that position. So for example, if you click the June 15th um, play here, um, you would have um, one week from tomorrow's open. Um, so Monday the 8th, you would have one week, um, which is then next Monday for, un until these contracts expire. And at that expiration date, you will either be worthless or exercised. Um, I'm not going to go much into the, ex uh, the exercise because personally, I haven't even done it. Um, I usually just trade options just like I would stocks, you know, getting in and out and focusing on just the price movement and taking my profits. So I'm not going to go over the exercise, um, but that's really what happens. And they would only exercise if you're in the money, by the way. So let's say the stock is 319.34 and you had 319 calls. Um, that's when it would exercise. So... The, these dates are the time allotted you have in a trade. Um, the longer the date, the you know, possibly the safer the position could be um, because you have more time for the movement to happen. And you know, let's just say the stock falls, you know, your options are going to fall with it. So the more time you have, you know, the safer it could be in a way. Um, I want to go over the strike price here. So this is basically just where you're looking for possibly the price to move to. Now, for you to win in options, it doesn't need to move that to that uh, price specifically. Um, it just needs to have a decent move higher um, for you to make money or a decent move lower for you to make money. Um, the closer to your, you are to ex expiration, um, you probably wanna be you know closer to the money. So let's say, like I said, the 319, yeah, we're gonna follow this. Um, you'd probably want a 320 call or even just a 319 call, you know, right in the money. Um, I wouldn't do, you know, I, I wouldn't focus that much on, you know, same day expirations, especially for beginners. You know, this is what this whole video is for, really. Um, for beginners, I would focus on, you know, going at least three weeks out. So you got this here. This is two and a, uh, two and a half weeks, basically. Um, could even go to the July monthlies, which would be this, July 17th. You know, I like to buy, so here's a little strategy of it. Um, going three to four weeks out or buying the, you know, monthly calls. So this one would be a month and a half out here. And so July 17th, and you want to go near money. So if the contract's 319, you could go for like 321, 322. I wouldn't really go past this one here. And, you know, from there you have time. So you have a lot of time that your contracts won't go worthless. And, you know, you're also near the money. So the more in the money or the more closer to the money you get, so let's say this goes to 321 and you had 321 calls, these options will go up much higher because um, you're getting closer to that strike price that you picked. And once it goes in the money, it'll even go higher. So I'm gonna go into that a little bit here too. So 
let me show you this. The delta is what actually is the correlation between the actual stock price, so the 319, um, it's not gonna show up here, oh, there it is, 319. Um, so every dollar movement on the actual stock, SPY, um, your position in options, so your contracts will move up 40, we'll say 44 cents per dollar movement on the S, uh, on your contract, for, uh, sorry, per dollar movement of uh, SPY, you know, going up or down. And this changes with the, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um, the more volatility it has, it has is another thing that, you know, can change this price as well as gamma and vega. So those are things to look into. Um, I focus on solely getting into options with a delta over 30 cents. Um, you know, at that point, you're not, you know, fully too far in the, out of the money. You don't want to go out of the money, um, in my opinion, like extremely out of the money, like many of these beginners do when they lose their accounts. I've seen it happen many times and it's really sad to see. Um, honestly, personally, when I first started options, I did the same thing. And, you know, you're just hitting for home runs and that's not what you're going to look for to actually build a portfolio and continuously grow your account. So you want to buy near the money and, you know, a good date where you have time. So like I said, you know, buying a month out and two to three strikes out. So price is 319. These are in the money. You know, 321, 322 is perfect. You have a month and you have only two to three dollars out. Um, let's see. Another thing to go over. Let's go back into this. Okay, so for example, this is the actual contract price. So 335. So every contract is every contract you buy is a hundred shares of that position. So like you see here, deliveries for this contract, a hundred shares of SPY. Um, that's what it's really calculated to. So if you buy one contract at $3.35, you're actually spending $335. So you do 335 times 100, you know, just like the amount of shares and you'd get that 335 amount. And that's how the price is correlated. So instead of buying 100 shares of SPY at $320, you're buying 100 shares of SPY or expiration date at $3 and uh, $335, sorry. Um, so that's where options, you know, comes into play compared to actually buying a stock of a, I mean, uh, actually buying shares of a stock. Um, so that's where the correlation is there. Um, the main focus, like I said, you know, strategy wise is, especially for beginners, focus on going that one month out, you know, three weeks out. It'll be much safer for you guys. So I'm trying to hit these home runs. Um, let me show you this. Oops, sorry. So let's say we're looking at the monthlies, I mean the dailies for Monday, June 8th. You can see the delta's high, but the theta is also high, and this position will move major in one direction or the other, depending on the movement of the actual stock, because you're playing, uh, I guess I clicked, oh no, never mind. Um, because you click, um, wow, sorry. This position will move major in one direction or the other, depending on how SPY moves. And that's because you're buying same day contracts, which will then basically move, you know, quick one way or the other because it expires that day. So that's where risk comes into buying those. That's why I mainly focus and my strategy is, you know, focusing on these three to four weeks out. And it's much safer you have time, you could buy larger amounts and still in profit, you know, very well. Um, with this strategy, I've done really well and have had a, you know, 75 to around 82% success rate, um, especially over the past 12 weeks. Um, but ever since I started using this strategy, that has been around my success rate. Um, so it definitely works. Um, definitely got to put time in to learn the stock game and the options game itself. And I just want everyone to, you know, profit, learn. 
Um, I hope this video, you know, just went a little bit over the basics for you guys. I didn't want to go too much and, you know, just grow from your mistakes and continue to grow from them. Um, make sure after every loss, you know, you go back, see what went, what went wrong. Um, when you win, see back, go went and see what went right. Um, and just learn from them. The only way you're going to become successful in this game is learning because trust me, it's a hard game to stay in, um, especially for beginners. So I hope you guys all have a great night and thank you for watching.